So welcome to Technodad Life, and my name is Jeff. And so today we're going to look at my favorite Wi-Fi heat mapping app, which is now free for Android. So anything I mention in this video, I'll try to remember to put links down in the description. And also, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. So today we're going to take a look at my favorite Wi-Fi uh, heat mapping app, and it's called NetSpot. And so let's take a look here. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download it from the Google Play Store. So once you've done that, uh, open it up. And what you'll see are three different things here. So we have our speed test. So let's do that first. This will check our network. I know my network is terrible. We'll speed through this because it goes fast. And so here our internet speed is 34.90. And you can see down below here it says, your internet speed is low. So this is the network inspector. And so here you can see we have a couple different networks. And so we have our 2.4 gigahertz and our 5 gigahertz. And so here you can see that our two networks are at 48 dBm and 53 dBm. And if you also notice, it has the channels here. This is great if you have overla overlapping channels because so the second one here, this kinetic D base, you can see is almost as strong as my network and that those are my next door neighbors. And now the interesting thing about this is when I had a uh, cable router, so a cable, excuse me, router, yes, cable router. So when I had a router provided by my cable network, it did the exact same channels as my next door neighbors. So there was a lot of interference between the two. I have switched, I have since switched that out to a different router. So now that router automatically switches to the least used network. So let's let, look at the next feature. And so this is Wi-Fi heat mapping. And so for this, we can take a look at the example here. We're going to click on heat maps. And so basically what we're going to do is walk around. We're going to keep it into this space here. And we should be able to see different strengths of the signal. So we have two ways of telling that. And that is by the color, which is the heat mapping. And then also, if we go on an individual spot here, you can see it gives us the decibel too, or should I say signal level. And if we go down to the bottom, we can actually look at signal to interference ratio and go around. So we're going to do that for this space, which is actually in the basement. But as you can see from uh, the previous things there that my next door neighbors have pretty powerful Wi-Fi. So to actually do the heat mapping, you're going to need a few things. So you're going to need a tape measure, a Sharpie to make your map, and then some graph paper. And so the graph paper we're going to draw our room on because we're just going to do one room today. And then, uh, but first we're going to use the tape measure to measure the room. Okay, so now I have my room. So basically it's 16, there it is, by 26 on the side here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so next we're gonna do some scanning. So first what we're gonna do is create new heat map. And so I already have a photo, so we're gonna add that. Uh, now it's uploading the photo. And then we can name it, but we're not gonna do anything. We're gonna hit continue. Next, we want to mark our sides here. So we put the little circles where the edges are on the paper. Then uh, up below, we're gonna put 16 feet because that's how wide that is. We're gonna hit medium space. And so on this, so what this page is doing is giving us an idea of how frequently we need to take data points. And so that 
yellow square in the center, that's where we're going to take a data point. And so we're going to hit continue. And so we're going to start in this, actually we'll start here in this corner. Okay, let's do our first one. Okay, so let's take a look at our map. So we'll go to project one, Wi-Fi heat mapping. And you can see I just did six spots. And there is our map. So that is signal level. And so what we can do is move this little guy over, or actually the map you move over to the little guy. He tells you the Wi-Fi at that point. So there was 47, 48, 41, 40, 39, and 40. And so you can also go down here to the bottom and you have signal level and you have basically three choices here at the top. Signal to interference, noise, signal to noise ratio. And then you see it says net spot for desktops. And so if you want any of the other of those, you have to get the professional app on your desktop, uh, which I've shown in a different video. I'll link it up here if I remember. So if we try signal to interference, uh, we get a little different ratio, but not much and signal to noise. So we get slightly different numbers. So NetSpot ends up being a really easy way to do uh, heat mapping on your uh, Android tablet or device. Actually the cheapest way as far as I know to do heat mapping out of any way. But if you need more advanced features, you need to use their desktop app. So that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.